you've probably used the text plus tool and the multi-text tool is very similar, but it gives you a more streamlined way of handling multiple text layers within a single tool. And this is even more so the case when working in Fusion, it keeps your node tree clean and your workflow efficient. We're gonna be primarily working in Fusion for this video, but you can do this directly on the edit page as well. Let's add a multi-text tool to our Fusion comp by hitting shift spacebar and typing in multi. The first big difference that you'll see that'll jump out is this text list. This is your master control panel for all text layers. Add a new text layer by clicking point text box or circle directly below the text list. Next, type in some text. You can jump through the different text layers by selecting them in the list. Once you select a text layer, you can change things like the color, the size, the font, and its position. You can do this for each of the text layers. If you're using something like the text box, what's nice about that is it will wrap the text within the text box. If needed, you can also turn on clip to text box, which will cut off the text outside the box. Clicking and dragging the elements in the text list will change how the elements stack on top of each other. The multi-text tool also has this page tab. It's an easy way to add a simple background without having to add additional nodes. Now, while the multi-text tool packs a lot of power, it's not a complete replacement to the text plus tool. There are a handful of layout, shading elements, and transform tools that aren't available. However, most of the controls that aren't available in the multi-text tool are only really needed in limited scenarios. And with that, I think that covers a lot of what the multi-text tool is. It's a lot like the text plus tool, it just facilitates a cleaner node tree and a faster workflow overall. And with that, give this video a like if you'd like to see more short videos like this one.